Hey guys, it's Yvette. Today we are doing a super bright orange fluffy cat eye lash nude lip look. I was just feeling very inspired by the new Morphe Heat Seeker palette. They're so pretty. The orange just like was really calling my name and I'm obsessed with this look. It's kind of giving like soft editorial. It's wearable, but like kind of just like boom. Not much blending. I actually already did a review on the Kat Von D Good Apple Serum Foundation. If any of you guys want to learn how to do this look, then just keep on watching. My foundation is already on because I am doing another video which has already been uploaded if you guys want to go check it out. Full review on the KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation and I'm excited to see how it wears but today we're going to be continuing the makeup. So today's objective, we're using this gorgeous Morphe palette. This is their new heat seeker and I believe they released this for festival season. Oof. Like these colors are so scrumptious. You guys already know like this color right here, this orange is screaming for me to use it. I just feel like Morphe putting out an orange palette is like so them because it just reminds me of like the 350 palette. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. I remember being in high school and like everybody being like, oh my God, did you get the Morphe 350 palette? Like they just dropped another like restock yesterday. And it was just like the most exciting thing. And like now I just feel like nobody is excited for like palettes like that anymore because we don't do that type of makeup anymore i mean it's not like the conventional way to do makeup it was like i want to be a clean girl and i just want to be like and, 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 like shush oh my goodness like let people have fun with their makeup i kind of miss 2016 makeup because everybody was so like fun and creative and it's just like oh like why are you guys so obsessed with being like clean girl like we're literally in our 20s like be fun i feel like i repeat myself in every single video but if you guys want to use the code i bet 10 for 10 percent off of your la girl products this is what i use on the daily i use their products like nobody's business every single day everybody asks me what are you wearing la girl what are you wearing on your brows la girl Gloss LA Girl. My concealer is blending out a little different than it usually does. I think I did something different right now. Oh lord. <laughs> I just think it's too white. Okay, we had to go back in with our little KVD sponge. Everything was just too white, it wasn't blending, but now we're good, we're good. Everything. <gasps> oh my gosh, I just like flipped my hair. And I put this powder all over my shoulder and all over my chair. I'm gonna take my LA Girl Banana Yellow Powder and I'm immediately gonna set under my eyes because we do not want any creasing. Creasing is like my number one. Like if my foundation creases, which it never really does, like ever, you will not catch me outside. Make sure you're taking out any of the creases and you set immediately. Now I'm gonna set my whole entire face. You know what? I was definitely supposed to use a liquid bronzer over top of this and I did not. If you know me and you speak to me, you know that I have a weird like vocabulary. Like that dress is so cute. Like, I mean sometimes, but most of the time I'll be like, oh my God, no, like you look so like deliciously juicy, like absolutely scrumptious. I just feel like it makes life a lot more interesting and it honestly like I don't even remember when I started speaking like that. Actually, I started speaking like that in like middle school, high school. Of course, going in with my famous LA Girl Pressed Powder in the shade Warm Caramel. This is like my ride or die bronzer, y'all. I just feel like LA Girl is so slept on. Like everybody just kind of sees it as like a drugstore, eh, brand. But bro, it's actually so... So good. Like, oh my goodness, all right? Nothing a good little cleanup can't fix. Now that everything is baking and being super delicious, I want to make this whole look warm and summery. The star of the show today is gonna be the Morphe Heat Seeker palette. And obviously I said that I'm gonna be using this beautiful orange on the lids. A bright orange and like put some gloss over it. Like that's just, I made up my mind. For the blush, I'm thinking like this hot like orange let's do that because the pan is so small i'm gonna take like a tiny little tapered brush like this i love this brush this is by max this is the 24os 240s oh 240s i don't know why i was struggling with that okay so i'm gonna be taking this coral color oh my god <gasps> oh oh pigment oh you know i don't even know why i was shocked because we've been knowing that morphe is like super pigmented oh my gosh shut the duck up wow so we're gonna do the brows before we do the orange 
I want to do something very soft with the brows. What I've been using when I want my brows to be like soft is I will take this ColourPop freckle pen. I know, just hear me out. Like, just give me, give me one second. Soft working product. So we're going to be running this. Just kind of like hair strokes. So we already did all these like little strokes here and the brows are looking brow to fold. I'm going to be taking this little brush here. This is my 207 by LA Girl. And then we're going to... Oh, you know what? I did not mean for that to be orange. It did not look orange in the pan. What is going on today? Actually, I think that these will look fine. Yeah, I think these are going to look fine. Finesse it a little bit and like clean it up. I'm going to be cleaning up with a little concealer. And always, always go back in and create that little contour dimension under the brows. Okay, guys, let's do the eyes. So I'm going to go straight in with just my finger. A little chalky, not going to lie, but it's really bright. Gorgeous color. So let's just go straight in. Before we do anything else, I'm going to clean the bake off. Oh, wow, guys, look, I'm like swiping it and the color is following. When you want the full pigment you guys will need to be stamping your product on guys this is so delicious it literally looks like i've been eating cheetos now bringing more of the color in we're gonna be patting this i think we're done we got the pigment that we need it looks really juicy before anything we're gonna be applying this is my current favorite mascara this is the lancome lash idol mascara this is just so i can attach my lashes better i'm gonna be taking my urban decay all nighter i'm gonna be spraying my face lashes are on and guys these lashes you have to go get them because do you freaking see how beautiful they are i like I'm insane for them. I don't know the name of them, but they are by this brand right here. And you guys can tell them that I sent you. They actually do um, like custom tees and things like that, but they also have like goodies that they send me. And they sent me those lashes and I was like, oh my God, like I need like 30 of these. Sell them out guys because they're a small business and they're so sweet and they always take care of me. We've got some new Morphe lippies. So I'm going to use a liquid lip and one of their new lip liners this color looks super juicy this is the morphe soul matte filling gel lip liner in the shade wifey oh my gosh these are so smooth these are incredibly freaking smooth they're going to be matte and look at how pretty they make my lips look like so juicy i'm actually going to also use another lip on top I'm going to be using this one, which is a little bit darker. This one's in the shade Whipped, and I just like my lips to be, like, extra contoured. Okay, you see that gave us a lot more dimension. I think I'm going to do that all around the lip. Delicious! Okay, those two, Wifey and Whipped, combo. I forgot to mention that I used the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion. I put that in the tight line because I wanted to not use eyeliner like i didn't want to actually do like wing and everything i did not want to do that i feel like brown would be really pretty with this but then it would kind of give fall and i don't want to be giving fall so i think we're going to go for the lightest one which is like a very like taupey just smells clean a very taupey taupey nude shade this one is in the shade quick crush i love myself a good nude lip oh my gosh this is really pretty shut the duck up oh -ho -ho -ho! this is really pretty this is really freaking pretty oh my gosh i just want to like lather all right guys that is the final look thank you guys so much for watching i'm really glad that i didn't do the glossy because i know that i would have been so sad that i messed up these lashes because this is the only pair that i have of these lashes but i'm definitely looking forward to doing like a pink glossy and like some bleached brows that'd be such a moment but thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys in my next video